So what's the story behind this song? Um, well, this one is about, um, it's, I can't, you know, love somebody new, don't know how to love somebody new. So it's about, um, basically not being able to love anyone new, but also, um, there's an elusiveness in it, in that it potentially finding a new lover as well. So I kind of have this, um, uh, contradiction in the song. But I wanted to keep it open so that people can relate to it from all, you know, different um, perspectives. So how did our collaboration come about? I think it was because we, the first record we did, you know, was so successful. Um, so after that, it was like, you know, we knew we had good chemistry and uh, we were just like, every time we were in the same place, we'd meet up and write. Um, but this one in particular, I think we sent you this idea that was really emotional. And so you wrote this really beautiful emotional song on it, and then we kind of transformed it into this sort of 90s influenced deep house sort of vibe to give it a little bit of a club appeal. But we liked the idea that there could be an emotional record that was still kind of worked in a club. Yeah, um, a more vulnerable song yeah. that we wanted to. Yeah. Because when we did Bad, which is our first session, the song that we did with David Guetta, it had such a big. Um, sound and you know edm drop and all that stuff so it was cool to work on a record that sh that showed a more you know intimate side and also like the um you know the 90s dance records that we love like cc peniston finally like all those things they were really emotional records but they were really cool club records too That's and true. so i think that was kind of like the blueprint for something like this we could we took this song that was really catchy and, and emotional and vulnerable and put it into a club thing and it just kind of works Yep. I hope you guys like that. <laughs> <laughs> so how did we first meet, you guys? We got set up we got set up as a songwriting session by our friend Dave. And that was a session that we wrote bad in. Yep. Yeah. That's very, very first time. <laughs> our very first session we ended up having a fourteen times platinum record out of it. <laughs> Woo! Not Easy bad. <laughs> So, how long did it take us to complete Somebody New? It took us, I'd say a couple months. Uh, we started off with the verse, and then we locked that in. And then I remember you went back and sent us like at least three ideas for the chorus. Oh, right. Yeah. And then we messed around with it and chose the one that we liked the most. So, we had the verse, the chorus, and then we're like, okay, we need to work on the drop. And then we ended up doing that last. So, all together, it was a couple of months, but it was like in three phases. And then magic. It was magic. I remember hearing when you guys first sent that, um, when the vocal chop thing, and I was like, damn, this is freaking <laughs> good. I got that feeling, you know? So, um, yeah. It took us a minute, though. It did. Yeah. yeah. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how would we invite, advise someone to love somebody new? Listen to our song. She's, <laughs> she's got the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this song would make you want to be single and just go out, though. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. That's not the point. <laughs> I just, that's how I feel when I listen to this song. Oh my god. I think be honest. Right? Yeah. Move on. <laughs> yeah, move on. Just move on. <laughs> just move on, you know. What if you can't move on? <laughs> then, then you listen to the song. Listen to the song. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> on repeat. Just put our song on repeat. Over and over again. Over and over. <laughs>